British are fond of their history for good reason. From Stonehenge to Brexit, it has been nothing if not a fascinating ride. Along those lines, it has been a long while since we've been able to attend a Jaguar press event without some mention of the Jaguar retype, out of production for 41 years and still, indisputably, one of the loveliest cars ever made. The XKE is a seemingly inexhaustible source of fuel for Jag's endless nostalgia play, in which the current F-type sports car is billed as the ES spiritual successor. For this year only, there is a version of the F, the limited edition Project 7, that traces its lineage back to the racing Jaguar D-types, the XKES own predecessor. From me you get F, and now an F that evokes D got it. There's a topless F-type with a shark fin fairing and white roundels over British racing green paint make pretty mental pictures for you of the long man's pit clock and Mike Hawthorne sighing at the wheel of his 1956 T-type? If so, then perhaps the $175,995 price on this particular Project 7 seems worth it, representing as it is a startling $110,000 premium over a base F-type coupe. Standard color choices are white or an Acuri Ecos light blue for fans who know their history from 60 years ago, while the factory team BRG paint on this car added $10,000 to the bottom line. Ah, but just 250 of these cars are being built and JAG says they re all spoken for, including the mere 50 designated for US sale, so there is exclusivity to factor in. And the Project 7 delivers more sauce than the next earliest F-Type, what with its 5.0-liter supercharged V8 juice to 575 blasting horsepower. The 25-horsepower engine upgrade, as well as suspension and trim tweaks, makes the Project 7 basically an SBR convertible, $129,795, minus the electric top and all-wheel drive, for $36,200 more. Instead of the SVRS power folding soft top, you get a sort of rain fly that snaps to the body in a few places and looks flimsy as it says to the world, please. Take me off. And instead of all wheel drive, you get tire frying wheels slipping back and massive, hilarious over steep. To a car, the Jaguars VV taken to tracks in recent years have stood out as sideways drifters. It's a combination of high horsepower, less than optimal grip, and at rate that the British love in their cars above all things, hyper reactive steering combined with rock rigid roll control. Thus, massive over steep rather than safe. Respectable, dull under steam. It may entertain you and blanch your passenger, but it will not make you especially fast around a circuit. The Project 7 fits the Jaguar pattern, a short wheelbase and a blown V8 only adding to the thrills. The Continental Conti Force Contact tires aren't up to the task of containing all that rage, the car suffering difficulties both turning and laying down the power which led to a lap of Virginia International Raceway S4.1 mile grand course at this year's lightning lap competition in 3 02.2 that was, if not exactly terrifying, then slightly alarming in its degree of frustration. Like all current R and SVR rated Jags, the Project 7 rips the air with delightful chortles from its non too muffled pipes. The brakes are extremely stout, and the car can probably be made to dance with discipline with only a few modifications. It is star expensive, though, and will be clobbered by cheaper, though quieter, cars on track they keep this particular cat out of the jungle, however, and it'll purr sweetly for you. The F-Type is one of the bobbiest sports cars out there at the moment, both sexy and seriously quick. Add a shark fin and you've got a roadster soak in British persona. Sona.